Hello legends and super legends. Welcome to Hello Harmony. Just got back from a ride and um, one of my super legends, uh, Christopher Roxbury, had asked about a video that covers some of the stretching that are good for cyclists. I decided to do this quick video to just show you what I do after I ride. And um, this is something that I was taught when I used to compete and then I kind of ad-libbed and added things to it. I stretch basically the muscles that I use in cycling for the most part. So the first thing I do is, you see here, I'm on my knees here. I basically put my hands on my waist and I lean back. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see it better. You just put your feet together behind you on your knees. You're gonna lean back just like that, as far as you can hold, and just hold it. And if you wanna go further, you can just a little bounce. Don't bounce too much. Lean back, it stretches your quadriceps, and it feels really good. You wanna do this, preferably right after you ride. You know, you, don't, you wanna be warm when you do this. You can just stand like this. You can see all I'm doing is I'm leaning my torso back. You can even do it, I've got a television right there, it's not on but you can do it in front of the TV or whatever things that you do to kind of pass the time. But just leaning like this with your knees bent, like you see me, you can do that if you want, but it's not necessary. I just put my hand, hands on my hips for stability and I'm just leaning back and you will feel the stretch right in here in on your inner thigh. It feels really good. It loosens up the muscles. It allows nutrients. I'm doing this after I've started my recovery. I got home and drank my recovery electrolyte, and now I'm doing this. So you can do this as long as you want. I usually do it for maybe two to three minutes. And right after that, I go ahead and sit. I keep one leg at my, this leg is at 90 degree at an L. I'm gonna turn this way, you might see it better. So you got one leg straight. You start with either leg, and then this leg will be folded at 90 degrees. Now, this is to stretch your lower back. You see me lean forward, do it gently. This is not a competition. Everybody stretches differently. But just by leaning here and holding my ankles, I feel the stretch here and here. When you ride the bike a lot, those areas get a lot of work and they can ache, especially when you climb a lot. But the reason I'm doing my arms like this to kind of open up my diaphragm here, it stretches even more this lower back area. And you just want to hold. You can go further than it's comfortable if you want to, but everything needs to be gentle. You're not trying to win a prize. You're just trying to loosen your muscles and your stretch will be different. You don't need to compete with anybody else. It's not about how low you get. What it is is to get the stretch and hold it there. That's when it works and you will feel it. Right now, I'm feeling it on my lower back here all the way into my glutes. That's what's stretching. It's stretching the left side because I'm on the right leg. And then after a while, you alternate. You stretch out your opposite, the left leg now I'm doing, and then you just fold this in. And if you're not able to do that because of injury, just do as much as you can. If you can't bring this leg all the way over, that's fine. The key is that we want you to open your back. And then you just kind of lean over. I have a better stretch on the other side. So what I'm gonna do is just lean over here. And right now I can feel it on this side. When you do this leg out, you feel it on this side right here. That's how you open up that lower back. And you do it, you just, you don't have to do everything you're gonna see in this video in one sitting. Just get to learn them and then you can gradually work them in. I do all of them, you know, because they just feel good. It, it should not be painful. It should actually be like, like you're at the spa. Let's put it that way. That's how good it should feel. You're relieving your muscles. It's almost like Pilates in a way, without the pain. 
because I'm not doing any plyometrics or motion stuff. Okay? I'm just showing you the moves. Now, once you finish that, another one that I like to use to stretch the muscles I use in cycling is you sit like this. And maybe I should go sideways again. You sit and open your legs as far as you can in either direction. Because the key is that you want to bring, you want to put your arms on your, on your legs. Your knees should just be relaxed. Put your arms on your legs. Let me move down so the camera can pick up my legs better. Let's move these pillows up. This is where I do my meditation. So you just hold your ankles and let gravity drop your torso as far as you can tolerate. You will feel the stretch under in your hamstrings to your groin. You use those muscles when you ride, especially if you've got your fit dialed in. Those are the big muscles you recruit. And you, you see me, I'm, I'm grabbing the bottom of my feet. You may not be able to do that, that's fine. Just hold your ankle or wherever you can hold and let your torso, the further your torso comes towards the ground, the more your stretch is under there. And then sometimes you can even do this. Just kind of rest your arms and just let your body just drop. Just let gravity take over and you will feel the stretch underneath here, your groin to your hamstrings. Feels really good. The next one I want to show you is, and you can do those for whatever duration you choose, but you want to do that in whatever order that's convenient for you because they all feel good and all help you recover. I'm gonna do one leg stretched and instead of bringing the leg in now, I've got my leg behind me. Your, let me turn this way. This leg is at 90 degrees to this leg. The knee is at 90 degrees. If you can't make that 90 degree, that's fine. Just go as far as you can. And what then the key is that you want to leave enough room behind you so you can lie down now because what you're doing is you're going the opposite way. So you see me scooting forward. This leg is at 90 degrees to this one. And then you want to put your arms behind you if you're not very used to stretching. You're not very much uh, very flexible. And just start here. As you lean backwards, you will feel the stretch right here in your quadriceps on the leg that's bent. That's the one that was getting the stretch. And you can go down, you know, over time, you'll be able to go down even further. I mean, I can go down really far, but what I'm trying to show you is you start like this, you can move your arms back. You can see my arms moving back. That lets you lean back more, or you can go to your elbow. The more you lean back, the more the stretch on this bent leg that is at 90 degrees, you're doing an L, okay? So you just lean back. I can lie down, but I'm not going to do it here in this video. I don't want you to try to hurt yourself. Start gradually. You can see I'm leaning on my elbow, whatever works for you. The goal is to eventually get to where you can do this. I'm going to lay down. I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and lay down so you can see. And then try to keep that leg in the same position. Let me come back up. Don't start out trying to lie down like you saw me do. I've been doing this for a long time. And when you get out of the position, you can see where I just did. I kind of rolled my leg out of the position. I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to do it this way so you'll probably see it better. From this direction, this leg is straight. I'm doing that so you can see it's just the opposite leg of what I was doing. So you can see it better. This leg is at 90 degrees to this one. Let me move up. So you can see. So all you're going to do now is you just want to lean back. Start with your hands behind you and you can slide them back. See me sliding them under the pillows and then hold them where it's comfortable for you because you stretching here. Don't let this become painful. Over time, you will stretch even more to where you will be able to lie down like you see me do. OK, but the goal is you start slowly. I'm using my elbow now and I'm just showing you that you can use your elbow eventually. If you can't start out there, that's fine. Start with whatever stretch you have at this time. And the more you stretch, the further you will go because this will begin to feel easier and easier right here. You're stretching the upper part of your quadriceps and the muscles called the psoas muscle. Those are the muscles that you use when you pull up the pedal stroke. 
and right here, right now in this position, it feels very good, almost therapeutic, like a massage. Feels really good. I do that on Fridays as well after I do a little light spin to just kind of warm up my muscles. Then I come and I do this. That's what you want to do. Don't do this cold. If you must do it where you have not worked out, start very slowly. You, it's best to stretch when your muscles are warm. So even if you want to do the Stairmaster, go for a walk, do some physical activity before you stretch. It's just best. And right here, you can do that any way you please. So let me roll. You see, you come out of it by just easing and let the muscle relax. I just wanted to show some of the, the stretches that are best for the cycling muscles. So we stretch the lower back, the quadriceps, the hamstrings. Those are the big muscles that we really recruit and put a lot of pressure on, especially the lower back, especially if you do a lot of climbing or if you push a lot of big gears, you really work your lower back. You can use this session to also work your stomach muscles. My core is very strong. As you can see, I can sit like this with no problem. My stomach is what's keeping my torso up right now. And I don't only build my core in the gym. I build it on the bike also while I'm riding. I make sure they work. When your core is strong, the power that you work on the bike transfers a lot easier to the pedals. So you, you should be able to do this. You should be able to sit like this at this angle or whatever angle without your body shaking. You know, that's what comes from having a strong core. And maybe I need to make a video about how you recruit your core. It'll be hard to describe, but uh, you should be able to recruit your core while you're riding. I don't spend a whole lot of time building it off the bike. I build it on the bike as well. So as you can see, my core is very strong, so I can go in any position here and just hold my torso because this is what keeps you in position on the bike. Okay? So I hope this will help some of you loosen up those muscles after you put them to work. No matter what, let nothing stop you from getting your K's in.